Girl finds 700 year old coin. Years later, cops decide to arrest her. Kate Harding, a British citizen who is the protagonist of this story, had decided to go help her mother with some labor in the garden when she was only nine years old. It was at that time that during work, the little girl found what seemed to be an old silver coin. She saved it and never talked about it until a few months after her mother's death. Harding, 23 years old at this time, approached museum experts, trying to get an understanding of the history behind the coin she found when she was just a little kid. It turned out the item wasn't exactly a coin, but something similar, a PA4 to be more precise. And even though many people could argue that the look of a PA4 is very similar to the look of a coin, there is a difference between them. A PA4 is generally thicker and weighs approximately twice that of a coin. Plus, it's also believed that such an item was never used as a currency. But if PA4s weren't used as a currency, how were they used? Well, it is believed they were used as guides for mint workers and reckoning counters for officials. However, the particular PA4 young Kate Harding showed to museum experts was a representative object marking Charles IV's ascension to the French throne in 1322. For this reason, Miss Harding was requested to inform a local forensic about the ancient treasure. This way, after a proper examination, the museum would be able to buy the item and everyone would be happy. But after a couple of weeks, Harding decided not to do that and continued on with her life. Unfortunately for her, the Treasure Act of 1996 claimed that any object older than 300 years old and with at least 10% of precious metal content had to be reported to a local forensic in a period of 14 days, and failing to carry out such a duty would be considered a criminal offense. And so, because of not wanting to report the treasure, Miss Harding was arrested and prosecuted as a lawbreaker. She faced up to three months in jail and a fine, but walked free from court when her lawyer claimed that she didn't report the treasure because of disorganization and because it had a sentimental value for her. In the end, the young woman was set free under a conditional discharge and had to pay 25 pounds to continue on with her life. As for the museum, the so desired PA4 never made it to their facilities. In fact, when Miss Harding decided to speak with a local forensic, she said she had lost the item, and so because of that, authorities stopped harassing her. If she would have sold the PA4, Miss Harding would have been rewarded with as much as 2,000 pounds, but as far as we know, she probably still keeps it as it is of great sentimental value for her. Now tell us, what would you do if you found something similar? Would you report it to any museum?